Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back with another reaction and analysis video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out Anton Fig. One of my subscribers suggested I check him out, so I pulled up a video here. We're going to take a listen to Anton. Nice triplet stuff, of course. Now back to the sixteenths. Nice! Ah, Steve Gadd, six stroke roll kind of stuff. Oh! Two up, two down. Yep. Oh, fives. Two down, two up, two down. Nice. Yeah, sixes. Four up, two down. Or these three up, two down. Two up, two down. Right, left, kick, kick, kick. Nice. Yo. Yeah. Nice. Two up, two down. Sometimes it's hands together. <laughs> yeah, about that, that balloon. Yes! Oh, yeah! Bam, bam! Very nice. Anton Fig. No kidding, man. What a dude. Great feel. Fantastic. Yeah, it was. Very nice. Thank you, everybody. That's a cool oh. shot there. You know, when you go back and you see these guys from that sort of behind the scenes sort of angle, uh, it reminds me of when I used to go to concerts back in the day uh, when they had these big arena rock concerts. If possible, I would try to sit behind the band because I thought, well, you know, that's fine to go out and see the show. That's for the audience. I'm the musician. I, <laughs> in other words, I wanted to see what it's like to be in the bandstand as much as possible. They stopped doing that. But I was able to see Stuart Copeland sitting right behind him with the police. I saw Neil Peart with Rush. And that was amazing. And then I sat off to the side, another venue. So being able to see these drummers up close like that or from that orientation, like you could see that one shot toward the end before I paused the video where he had his music stand. And you can kind of see the workings of what goes on behind the scenes and just some really cool stuff. The guy had some cool displacement stuff, some nice stuff. Really liked to work with that kind of the Afro-Cuban 6A thing. So you're all playing. 
kind of these kind of cool hemiola polyrhythmic things that he's doing over the top of that in six eight and then later some fast 16th old triplet kind of stuff with some kind of paired did a little mixed up with some singles and just a nice dynamic contrast when he came back in with the snare with the double stroke roll and i really like the spots with the band da -da -ba -ba -da, kind of little riff things that the band was doing and then he would get to solo some more but just really great sounding drums, good tuning, nice range of toms, uh, cymbals were cool. Just and, and then the couple of the ballets, you know, we did that with the hi-hat. Love it when drummers get into a little segment of grooving and then they build up and then they can do something sort of over the bar line when they kind of really get ferocious in there and then bringing the band back in and just guys got great energy. I mean, he did replace Steve Jordan. So Anton Figg's got that similar kind of groove quality. In fact, he had a kind of similar snare drum to the one that I just reviewed recently with Steve Jordan, kind of that wood hoop thing. A little lower tuning, but nice high pitch rim shot. So really kind of a cool solo. Really dug it. Somebody wanted me to talk about Anton Figg. I just pulled this up um, and watched it. And I always enjoy some of the solo features that go on with the late night band. Because it's nice to hear a drummer play in context with the band. Most of my reactions are just off-the-cuff kind of clinic or spotlight performances where guys are just up there shredding, not playing the way they would in a band, of course, but that's kind of what I'm doing is drum soloing. However, some of the guys like him, they actually sound like they're kind of playing compositions. And of course, with this, you had the horn hits and then the spaces for him to solo and the horns come back in and just really loved how there was that bat, and then bat, and then finally the horn solo and then bop. Bob, you kind of weren't expecting the double wham at the end, but very nice stuff. Just enjoy that guy's playing. Didn't give you too much specifics about what he's doing. Some hand foot stuff going on, two up, two down. It seemed like he was doing like some fives. So right, left, right, kick, kick, right, left, right, kick, kick. Kind of smearing those over and phrasing them over triplets and some things like that. He did get into some two up or one up, two down where he's going around, he's hitting cymbals with one hand and double stops, meaning unison stroke, snare, crash, or tom and crash, that kind of stuff. What was so nice about it was kind of a solo chop, but he has sort of a sequence of cymbal uh, patterns. And uh, I heard um, Horacio Negro do this in one of his solos where he was able to kind of create this cool little drum solo effect with some double bass hand foot patterns, but then sequence the crash and the tom so there was kind of a repetitive melodic theme that was going on between pitches of cymbals and drums. So that part I really respected because sometimes drummers, when they get up to that point, they can just get bashy and there's no real sequence. And, you know, these guys at this level of playing, they know the pitches of their cymbals, their cymbal scale. Um, a lot of drummers aren't really too mindful. They have, they just put up cymbals. But if I said, can you go through and play the highest, the lowest pitch cymbal right now? Some of you might actually have to spend some time trying to go, oh, really? I haven't really thought about that. So there is a scale of tuning for high to low toms, and you can actually get some sort of cymbals and ranges that do a similar kind of an effect. Um, if that's what you're after. I usually pick symbols out for a variety of reasons. I've got another video on my channel that talks about symbols. But uh, anyways, that's what I listen for is a combination of great balance between the drums and the cymbals. They're 50% each. So some drummers are much more drum oriented. Some are more cymbal and Anton's a really good balance of the two. Um, so I really enjoyed his playing. So if you like this reaction video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you're interested in any drum lessons or any courses on drum set playing, I have some information in the text box below. So check that out. Until then, have a great day and we'll see you on the next reaction and analysis video. Bye-bye.